and I've freaking seen a spider and I'm gonna try and see if, I don't know if it's outside to be honest. All I've seen is that it was crawling right here. So I don't know if it's like, I'll just go ahead with it. If it falls, it falls. What? Where'd it go? Bro, that was scary. Bro, the worst thing about spiders is not when you see them, but when it's on. Hi, can I get a zinger box? Regular large. I'll just get a large, please. Ooh. We're probably gonna change the gravy. We don't want gravy, we want coleslaw. Yeah, I don't know if people uh, know this, but it's uh, raining. Check it out. So we've got our chips, which is a large chip, because we've got a, a regular lot. Now I've got a large one. We've got obviously our three wicked wings, and then we've got our zinger box, but. Uh, I want to show to you one thing that I've realized, like just a, just a hack for anyone out there that wants something a bit extra. I usually ask them to swap my gravy, which I've got here, as you can see there, right? A crunchy coleslaw. So I literally swapped that. But uh, turns out <laughs> today, this is what they end up giving me. They end up giving me both. So not only did I get a crunchy coleslaw, but also got a potato and gravy for free. And we're always going to go for the... Uh, Mountain Dew. Honestly, I don't know whoever gets the Pepsi, Pepsi Max. You guys are weird. We are gonna munch up onto this because today is the last day uh, before we get onto the 75 hard. We're actually starting 75 hard tomorrow. My last day onto the cheat, the cheat meals. No chocolate, no KFC, unfortunately. No McDonald's, Bordeaux. But hey, it's all good. We've done this before and we're gonna do it again. What I wanted to do is I wanted to have my last cheat meal for the day before I get ready. Enjoy me eating my food. <music> That's enough for Jay Saw now. Ooh, are we ready? day one of the 75 hard challenge but hey let's keep it real and raw we just got to fairfield city central which used to be called nitty city i grew up in fairfield back when i was in high school we used to call it nitty city now they're calling it fairfield city central don't know why the names change i can tell you right now when you go into the shop it doesn't really feel as nitty city as it used to be other than that i'm on level five right now and we are just about to get into the gym and so today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be switching it up we're not going to be focusing on what we used to do before which was a power building program and then going for a run we're going to be a lot more strategic in our training program today what we're going to do is we're going to do our smart wad program so it's the workout of the day we're going to be utilizing that as a warm-up and then from there we're going to get straight into our power building session it's not set in stone as to how long it's going to be for example last week i was doing some wad program some of them were like 30 minutes some of them were 10 minutes at the moment now i'm kind of tossing between whether i should do a wad uh, a workout of the day as part of my warm-up and then from there get straight into my power building program or if i should do just a power building program uh, again the thing is i want to try something new like more versatile so quick tip 600 milliliters of water really helps you out when it comes to getting your four your four liters in i already drank 600 milliliters of water at home and that was it the first thing in the morning i like to just scull it straight away and today right now i'm going to be drinking this much i've already drank that i was drinking this when i was doing my 10 pages after i finish this by the time i get back home i should have probably another 1.2 liters of water let's get into it i just finished doing our wood Keep it up here. Right now we're gonna get straight into our power building program. This is pretty much our 30 minute warm up, 15 minutes doing some flexibility, and then the other 15 roughly or so getting into our workout of the day. But hey, knowing that the workout of the day is done, it's time for us to get onto the weights. Just finish at the gym. We're just gonna go down to the shops and uh, we're just gonna get a couple of things.
That's better. Card here, as you guys can see here, was playing up yesterday. I'll probably just give it up there when I go for from the shops. First things first. This is my freezer, family freezer. We're not getting some beef mint. Beef mint. And we also end up getting some breast fillet bog pack. So they expire on the 28th of the first, and this expires on the first of the second. It doesn't really have much of an effect because it is a frozen. You guys can see right there. And I'm getting this bad boy. We picks. We're using that. I've already had. We had some yesterday. See, the great thing about we picks is that it's really high in fiber, which really helps you to poo. I've already done today because of the we picks. So I'm getting that, and I actually ended up just getting some eggs, as you can see. So I've got a stack of eggs, having four. Place it down into four just because of my caloric deficit. That's pretty much all I've got. And so uh, for the next couple of weeks until I finish 75 hard, I'm going to be having wheat bix for breakfast when I wake up. I think it'll be really good. I'm not really the type to eat, to have breakfast uh, in the morning. I usually just go to the gym with an empty stomach. But I wanted to change things up. I want to do things differently. So what we're going to be doing today is we've actually got some work to do on the business. I run a coaching online coaching business today we're just going to be looking into getting some clients on to um getting a list of clients on for the year um i've got a offer that i'll be providing to a few people so i'm going to be reaching out to a few people today and then um after that i'm also going to be just going through the ideal client if you guys ever run a business the biggest key that i'll give to you is really know who you're wanting to work with like understand who your clients are because i think for me i I'm just gonna be transparent here. I just jumped into the uh, entrepreneurship game just wanting to help anybody and everybody and that didn't really work out well for me because I'm in this position now where now I'm really trying to cram in and niche niche out exactly who I'm wanting to help out. Biggest key for those out there is if you're wanting to start a business, really figure out your target market. Who is exactly, like who are you really wanting to help out? Um, who are your ideal customers? Understand their pain points, their struggles, uh, where they're at, why will they really need you? These are the things that I'm still going through right now and it's taking me a lot longer because I'm just procrastinating, I'm not gonna lie. But other than that, we need to get back into it. We've got some work to do, probably see you in the gym. Even if you are not ready for the day, it cannot always be night. Sir, fix I do work. Work six up like Mike. He's out of sight. Woo, you ain't got me pipe. Two men like I. Six up the spot. Into the night. Yeah, I'm shaking the drop. I'm still up on top. I've been had the bop. Devil my eye, can't pay me to stop, my God at the top We gon' praise our way out the gray dark, living, speaking, praise God, walking out the gray dark Back to life. Couple hours later and we're here going through our second workout, if you've seen that bike, I didn't even realise that, that guy was on the bike We're kind of going through our second workout, we're just going for a nice walk and there goes that sound. But one of my goals as part of the 75 hard is getting 5Ks a day. So one thing I believe in is 5Ks a day keeps the doctor away. Just as long as you're moving, just as long as you're getting active, it reduces you from attending the clinic. We're only on day two at the moment of the 75 hard, so I'm not gonna get too carried away. I'm not gonna really share as much. It's only day two. Watch when we get to day 30 or day 40. That's when you guys are gonna start reaping a lot of the Results. I've already done 75 hard before. I know how it really feels. I know the, the moments where I'm gonna start feeling a bit lethargic or I'm gonna start dropping the standards. So day two is only day two. Wait till we get to day 20 or 30. And that's where I'll start puffing up. We've got a walk to do. I'm already on 16 minutes. Come on, Josh. Come on, buddy. You can do more than that. Guys, good morning. It is Wednesday right now. Just bring our stash back. We actually have a coaching session at seven. I have my own coach who I meet up with every two weeks. 
The meeting will be starting in one minute. So I've got a Zoom call happening now and I'm bringing in my, my breakfast. I don't really do breakfast, but I'm getting into the habit of it. That was my coach. Just letting you know that. It's literally how I set up. Saying that, this best is food. Thank you a lot for this food. One key thing that I always believe in, whatever you do, you don't be late. All right, whatever you do, you just don't be late. Sometimes my coach is late, sometimes I'm late too. The best thing that you want to do is ensure that you're not late to work, you're not late to your life because then it just keeps you less anxious. And why would you want to build so much anxiety when, think about it at the end of the day, we already build anxiety within ourselves. So the least that you can do is not put as much on as you already are. Morning Adam, good morning, good morning. I'm good now, how are you? First first of all, understanding that I do need a coach. <laughs> Reflecting on was that uh, this time last year I didn't have one. And as a result of that, like there was a lot of setbacks that I had that could have been easily managed. It's like, no, 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 I, I, I know I can. It's just there's a, there's a blockage there. Yeah, I would say, what, what, like, what was the first thing that you mentioned? Even that too, I think one thing that I got too was the uh, counselling, coaching and mentoring. I think it's a good breaking point to, to look into. That's probably one thing I want to look into, the cause that I have with the, the clients. But no good to good is like your counselling side of things and then your good to great is your coaching. Like if you want to get better, that's where you need a coach. That gives me like full clear vision. Thank you, thank you, I appreciate it. We just finished our coaching call. Check out the papers. There's our notes from today. Oh. I, I invested into a coach a couple of months ago. It was probably at the end of November. And honestly, it was probably the best decision that I made. When you invest into a coach, one of the things you start to realize is that you've got a lot of flaws. Right? You've got a lot of flaws in yourself. The thing about coaches is that they expose it to you. Uh, counselors do the same thing. Mentors do the same thing. But I've realized with coaches, like they have a specific way of opening yourself up. They find out the specific problem. And then from there, they look at action steps so that you can become better. And one of the things they look at is the barrier. What's the barrier? I don't know if my business is actually going to go well and so it's 9.05 I'm going to do Right now what I'm going to do is uh, we have to go to the gym. Also too, the book that I'm currently reading right now is called 100 million I think or 100M um, so this is my cloud reader. I've got a cloud reader on my computer. So these are all the books that I have as you can see right here, all the books that I've read, some books that I probably need to read. The one that I'm reading now is this one right here, which is $100 million offers. And it's by Alex Hormonzi. <laughs> I've been dreaming of the water Where they go To a land I wanna know All its beauty has no border I've been told Find a cloud in It's 9.36 right now, I'm um, AM in the morning And um, I'm here at Bondi Done my Wim Hof breathing Went for my 5k run walk been chilling here. I haven't really been thinking about much. Oh, this week's one of those weeks where truth hit me <laughs> like hard. Truth hit me hard. It was very convicting. I came to learn one thing this week and first thing that I've learned is that preparation is key. We end up going through this phase called learn helplessness. Teach yourself that you don't need help and I've come to terms that that's that's probably something that I've, I've been going through at the moment and uh, I'm not 
obviously proud of it but i realized that this is like the whole it's the whole journey this is the whole part of entrepreneurship journey that i've, I've jumped on as a um as an online coach these these are the failures these are the these are the moments where i i have a choice and the choice is that i could either go back to my old ways uh, i can go back to my nine to five or i can make the decision today i made the decision right to do some self-care and one of the ways i've done that is by coming to bondi even just listening to waves i don't know it's just something so peaceful about it chilling here for a bit i'm gonna go head off to bondi westfields i'm gonna get, get something to eat and then we've got our second workout that's what we're waiting for whatever you do take care of yourself in these moments the best thing that you can do is just focus on the things that you can't control I'm just gonna get um, our dinner for Grace, me and Grace, and I've freaking seen a spider and I'm gonna try and see, if, I don't know if it's outside to be honest. All I've seen is that it was crawling right here, so I don't know if it's like, I'll just go ahead with it. If it falls, it falls. Bro, that was scary. Anyways, bro, let's get our dinner, bro. <laughs> Eat order. Bro, I got the Uber Eats sign for this, and I'd even order on Uber Eats. And I'd even work for Uber Eats, too. <laughs> Guys, we found it. Bro, look at that big boy. So this is the very guy that's been creating all these wheels in my car. All right, I need to figure out how to get out. Oh, yeah. Not exactly what to do. Oh. No. oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. And... Did I get it? Where'd it go? Oh, no. Bro, the worst thing about spiders is not when you see them, but when it's gone. Bro, gotta get out of here before it comes. I swear it's gonna probably come back into the car. Oh, 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 oh. 